Hey everybody. Um, so I promise to be 100% real about this NACA journey. Uh, today is the first time that I am truly discouraged. Um, and it's not NACA's fault. It's not their fault at all. Um, unfortunately, I work for a nonprofit organization. So when NACA sent the work verification or in verification of employment form where they, you know, state how much I get paid, um, I receive some additional monies for having um, a higher workload. Um, so nonprofits have a specific way that they have to state this. Like they can't just say, oh, we get for bonus, we get for overtime um, because they use different pockets of money um, to meet the needs. Um, so my HR department has been trying to get in touch with my previous NACA mortgage counselor and she has not called back. She has not emailed back. You know, we're kind of back to some of the same issues that we had. So today I stayed on hold for two hours and five minutes for member services just to get a message to her to ask her to please call my HR department. So that they can just state like, here's what we're having an issue with. How can we word this on this form? How can we fill this out so that it show reflects what she gets paid, but is not going to in turn come back on my our company. Um, my previous mortgage counselor literally just emailed back and was like, hey, you and your new mortgage counselor have already discussed this with them and already talked about this and this is what they need to do. And so I called my HR de department and talked with her and that's when she explained, she's like, we are a nonprofit, like things can be filled out a certain way. We can only use certain lingo. We can't call this bonus money because it's not bonus money. Um, we can call it incentive. We can call it, you know, things like that, but they can't use the, ver the verbiage that's on this form. So that's why it's important that they call um, that my previous mortgage counselor calls her back so that they can say, okay, yeah, go ahead and cross this out and put incentive and whatever you need to put here and the amount. Um, check these boxes. That That's fine. We can accept that. Or fill the form out the way you would fill it out and then please write as a statement on company letterhead stating that this person gets paid these extra monies and right now, no, that is not... Um, going to end anytime soon. Um, that's all we're trying to figure out. And it just feels like this one thing is holding us back. Like I, I mean, I started crying to my HR generalist. I was trying to leave a message for my new mortgage counselor and I was getting choked up because when you're so close to your dream and it just seems like people just can't get it figured out, like they cannot come together to get this figured out and all it takes is a phone call, and it's you in the middle. Like there's nothing that you can do besides, hey, this person needs you to call them. Hey, this um, here's the number or here's the email or let me try to call. Like it's just a lot of rigmarole for no reason. And so I'm kind of moving from being depressed about it, not really depressed about it, but you know, hurt to now I'm just really getting irritated and aggravated because it's like, it's simple. It's like, it just takes a phone call. It just takes someone reaching out to their leadership saying, how can we make this form work for this person? And it just seems like nobody is willing to make that call. Um, so that is the only, that is one thing that I would say is disappointing um, me with NACA right now is that all, all, all my HR department needs is a call and I can't be upset with my HR department because they are trying to look out for the company's best interest on, we can't say these specific words. Because when they submit this and they say this person works for you and they're saying they're getting bonus pay, then the state can come back and say, how is that when you're a nonprofit and y'all can't do that? So I'm trying, I'm trying my best not to let this defeat me. I'm going to still do what I was going to do this weekend and start packing my house up. Um, but I'm not going to accept defeat. I really am not. Like, if I have to call these people every day to get them to just be like, oh, my God, let me just do what this girl needs, then I will. And if that's my HR department, if that's NACA, 
I will keep calling and keep calling and keep emailing and keep emailing until y'all get so irritated that y'all just get it done. Um, because I'm ready to get out this house and this is all that's standing in my way. And I'm not going to accept that. I need people to advocate. Um, I'm going to advocate for myself and I need NACA to do it what my HR department needs, which is just a phone conversation on how can we make this work. Um, so I guess that's how I'm ending my week. Still not on a housing search, but I'm qualified, um, but I'm not qualified for enough to, <laughs> to really purchase anything. So um, we're just waiting. It's just a waiting game. Um, so until then, I will continue to update y'all on um, how I'm packing up this house, how I'm figuring out how to organize it, because I have not moved in 13 years. So, and when I did move, I had barely anything because I had only been in my townhouse for less than a year. So I didn't accumulate much of anything and I didn't have a basement and I didn't have four bedrooms. So I didn't have a lot of space. So now I have a lot of space to pack up. Um, so I will take you on that journey with me until we can, um, get this NACA thing figured out. Um, I'm not giving up because it is a great program. Um, but it is very disappointing when, you know, people just need a phone call and I'm, I understand they're busy, but if y'all could just pick up the phone and help a sister out, I would be much appreciative. So don't forget to vote, everybody. Make sure that you um, check your voter registration, update your addresses. Um, early voting starts in less than a month in Ohio. Um, check your board of elections to find out when early voting starts for you. Um, if you don't feel safe going to the polls because of COVID, make sure that you send in your mail-in ballot. And as soon as you receive that in the mail, you fill it out and send it right back in so it has plenty of time to get there. Um, and then, of course, you can track it and make sure that it's been received and counted. So make sure you do that as well, so that if for some reason it's not received and counted, um, you can um, make sure that you call in and find out what you can do. Because sometimes you can go in and fill out um, the mail-in ballot at the election poll and hand it right to a worker. Um, that's an option too. Um, but make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Um, leave comments. Um, but hey, your girl's not giving up. So peace and blessings to y'all. I love y'all. And until next time, peace.